Today we're going to talk about something called associative arrays inside PHP. An associative arrays is slightly different from what we've done in the past, where as an example like the one I have here is what we call an index array. Now an indexed array is simply where we have a variable that's equal to an array that has some kind of data inside of it. So right now I have Daniel, Nilsson, and my age. So we have three pieces of data inside this array. Now, when we want to echo this out inside the browser, I can do an echo where we say we have variable data, brackets, and then we can write some kind of number inside the brackets. For example, if we want Daniel inside the browser, I can write zero because my data is numbered like zero, one, Two. So we always start at zero. So this is what we've done in the past. Now, what if I want to do something that makes a bit more sense, where we actually name these data inside the arrays? Then we can do something called an associative array. Now, the main difference here is that instead of writing numbers inside my uh, echo when I want to echo it out, is that we can actually write some kind of name that we name these different data. So let's say I want to echo out Daniel. I'm just going to refresh the browser so you guys can see I do actually get Daniel. I can go back into my code and I can create a key for each of these data we have inside the array. Now a key is basically the name that we put inside the data brackets down here in order to get out the specific data we want to get out. Now in order to create a key, we can go back into the array. We can say we have a string that is called maybe first as in first name. Then I'm going to go ahead and give this key a value by writing equal to greater than, which points to a value, which is Daniel. So now we basically just named this data first. Now we can go ahead and do this to the second data as well by going into it and writing double quotes because we create a string, call this one last. And then again, we point to a value, which in this case is Nelson. Now, just to make this a little bit easier to look at, I'm just going to go ahead and move this down to next line. So after each comma, we get this in separate lines like so. So now we only have one piece of data left, which is my age. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this one a string as well. I'm going to say age. And then again, I'm going to give it a value as 25. So right now we named these different data and I can actually go into my code down here where we have echo data and change the value. Now, just to show you guys, if we were to go in and refresh, you guys can see we get undefined offset zero because it doesn't understand what zero means inside my echo. Now, if I go in and say that we have a string called first and save it, you guys can see we get Daniel because now we change the name from an indexed array, which is numbers into whatever we want to call these data inside the array. Now, this is very useful to naming things because right now, if I were to get out the first name of this array, I wouldn't understand where in the sequence it is if I created this array a long time ago and I don't remember the, you know, the order of the data. Now, another way we can create an associative array is if I go ahead and delete this data, or at least delete the first part of it or the last part of it, where we have variable data, I can say brackets, create a string. So I can say this one is called first, then I can set it equal to a string called Daniel. If I can spell that correctly, there we go. So now we have the first data inside our data, uh, our data array, which is equal to Daniel, and we already named it first. Of course, I can go ahead and copy this down two more times and just change the data we have in here or the names to last and to age. Then again, change the values to Nelson and 25. If I were to echo this again, you guys can see we still get Daniel. If we were to print R this, just to see how it looks like, like so, and put the variable data inside the print R function, we can actually see the full array inside the browser. So as you guys can see, we have the array, then we have the first data, which in this case is not zero anymore, it's first, which points to a value as Daniel, then we have last, which points to a value as Nielsen, and then we have age that points to 25. So this is how we can create an associative array. And this is something we can mix in with the other types of array we have inside PHP in order to create something that we can understand. Or as in the next example, where we do actually talk about multidimensional arrays, if you were to pull out data from a database like we did in a couple of episodes ago and put it inside an array, it would actually automatically become an associative array where we get the name of each column inside the database. So if you guys want to learn about that, you can go back a few episodes and, 
and see that video on that. So this is the basic idea behind associative arrays. In the next episode, we're going to talk about multidimensional arrays. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.